The immunoglobulin light chain is the small polypeptide subunit of an antibody. A typical antibody is composed of two immunoglobulin heavy chains and two IgA light chains. In humans, there are two types of light chain in humans, kappa chain, encoded by the immunoglobulin kappa locus on chromosome 2, lambda chain, encoded by the immunoglobulin lambda locus on chromosome 22, antibodies are produced by B lymphocytes, each expressing only one class of light chain. Once set, light chain class remains fixed for the life of the B lymphocyte. In a healthy individual, the total kappa to lambda ratio is roughly 3-1 in serum or 1, 1 1.5 if measuring free light chains, with a highly divergent ratio indicative of neoplasm. The exact normal ratio of kappa to lambda, according to a novel polyclinal free light chain assay, ranges from 0.26 to 1.65. Both the kappa and the lambda chains can increase proportionately, maintaining a normal ratio. This is usually indicative of something other than a blood cell dyscrasia, such as kidney disease. In other animals, the immunoglobulin light chain genes in tetrapods can be classified into three distinct groups. Kappa, Lambda, and Sigma. The divergence of the I, I, and I florin isotypes preceded the radiation of tetrapods. The I florin isotype was lost after the evolution of the amphibian lineage and before the emergence of the reptilian lineage. Other types of light chains can be found in lower vertebrates, such as the Iglite iota chain of Chondrichthys and Teleostei. Camelids are unique among mammals as they also have fully functional antibodies which have two heavy chains, but lack the light chains usually paired with each heavy chain. The functional role of this separate repertoire is unknown as yet. Structure Only one type of light chain is present in a typical antibody, thus the two light chains of an individual antibody are identical. Each light chain is composed of two tandem immunoglobulin domains, one constant domain, one variable domain that is important for binding antigen, the approximate length of a light chain protein is from 211 to 270 in amino acids. In pathology, individual B cells in lymphoid tissue possess either kappa or lambda light chains, but never both together. Using immunoista chemistry, it is possible to determine the relative abundance of B cells expressing kappa and lambda light chains. If the lymph node or similar tissue is reactive, or otherwise benign, it should possess a mixture of kappa positive and lambda positive cells. If, however, one type of light chain is significantly more common than the other, the cells are likely all derived from a small clonal population, which may indicate a malignant condition, such as B cell lymphoma. Ig light chains produced in neoplastic plasma cells, such as in multiple myeloma, are called Bentz Jones proteins. Increased levels of free IG light chains have also been detected in various inflammatory diseases. It is important to note that, in contrast to increased levels in lymphoma patients, these IG light chains are polyclinal. Recent studies have shown that these IG light chains can bind to mast cells and, using their ability to bind antigen, facilitate activation of these mast cells. Activation of mast cells results in the release of various pro-inflammatory mediators which are believed to contribute to the development of the inflammatory disease. Recent studies have shown that Ig light chains not only activate mast cells but also dorsal root ganglia, and neutrophils, expanding their possible role as mediators in inflammatory disease. See also, monoclonal antibodies. References External links Immunoglobulin light chains at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, Educational Resource for Immunoglobulin Light Chains